All right, and we are back. Entertainment Thursday right here on Good Morning Kenya. And right now, I am joined by a singer, songwriter, and performer. She does gospel music. Her name is Lydia Momo. Lydia, welcome yes. to Good Morning Kenya. Thank you so much for having me. How are you me? doing this morning? It's a beautiful day. Mm. I thank the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am excited to be here. All right. Mm. If I may give you the opportunity to introduce yourself the mm -hmm. way you'd want people to get to know Lydia. Um, so my name is Lydia Momo. I am born again. I am a lady who loves the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I am a songwriter. Mm -hmm. I'm a producer of different songs that I have done. Yeah. Um, and I love God. Basically, I love God. This is a lady who loves the Lord and who is ready to share the gift of music to the world. Mm -hmm. yes. So you produced your own music? I wrote. I think, I think that word production wasn't supposed to be there. Okay. Yes, but I write my <laughs> own I did, I did see on your bio, like, you know, producer. So you got me a bit of God when you said yes. uh, producer. Yes, writing yes, yes, your yes. own songs. Yes, you I are do. your own songwriter of your yes. songs. Yes. If you may just take me through your typical day as an artist how does that look like um on a day when i'm going to the studio yes. so for me mostly is waking up and getting to learn the lyrics and then getting to the studio and working alongside my producer mm -hmm. and seeing how that looks if it's beautiful well but i i don't think it is always on the first time go mm -hmm. we have to redo it and redo it until everybody's satisfied Mm -hmm. about I mean about what what is out there mm -hmm. yes I think it's a little bit of a work between the producer and the singer yeah. where you got to write you got to share your mind with him and then he tells you this this would work this would not work mm -hmm. and then we work together I always feel like our music is a it's it's a combination of the producer and the singer mm -hmm. it's not only most of the time we have thought it's me writing a song and getting out there and writing a song and doing it but there is a bit of the producer and the production that is very important mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. and when you uh, I, I agree with you that uh, it's a combination of mm -hmm. both the producer and the um, and the songwriter and singer how do you collaborate with with your producers how do you pick who to work with uh, for me, uh, the first thing I check is what they have done. Because basically, if you look at my YouTube channel, you find I've worked with different producers. Mm -hmm. Because there's sometimes I'm doing slow songs, I need a producer who has done that. And sometimes I'm doing upbeat, I need a producer who has done that. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's what they have done. Have they delivered before? And will they work with what is in my heart? Mm -hmm. And then after feeling like they can do that, then I go ahead and do with them and mm -hmm. work with them. Mm -hmm. So for me, it has, sometimes it's good to work with one and if I, I trust God, if I get one, I'll work with him. Mm -hmm. But for now, I'm still looking for, for one that I can work with, who can do the slow songs and the upbeat. Okay, so right now you just work with different producers yeah, uh, uh, yeah, compared yeah. to the kind of song that you're doing. Yes. How does your songwriting um, process look like? Um, so I've, I've, I've written different songs, mm -hmm. um, and one of them, some of them are topical, or it's a theme. Mm -hmm. Like I did a song that is called I Do. It was supposed to be a theme song for Masha Magical, Perfect Wedding. Mm -hmm. And so for that, I had to stick to the theme of wedding. And then last year, we, are looking, we were looking at um, elections. So I felt, how about I bring a song out that will speak peace. So for me, that was topical. That was for that season. Mm -hmm. And then um, I have done now others that we have to play them at church. For any ministration, when I go to service, when I go to, to um, worship service, that I would play. Mm -hmm. Yes, but now I have those ones that are very topical like this one i can only play at the wedding mm -hmm. and this one i can only play during a um, country function mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. so for me sometimes it's it's either typical it's for a season or then i do a song that i can play all along mm -hmm. yeah how long maybe does it take you to um to finish writing a song uh, and uh, do you like <laughs> keep changing maybe you write it and then you're done and then you look at it and i'm like ah, okay let me <laughs> <laughs> tweak it up a bit so how long does it take you to finish a song um 
it takes time. Mm -hmm. I think for I, I think I'll come with an idea and just write down the idea. That mm -hmm. is the first step. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I'll, I'll write it. And then days after, I keep changing. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you 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 are you are alone. I mean, when you are doing the writing, new things keep changing. New things keep ch coming, and so it keeps changing on and off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but there are other days where. Maybe I would Nikona Raka and then or, or rather the producer says, Can we do a song? Or sometimes I've even been gifted with free production. Someone says, I liked your song. Would you like for me to play for you? You're like, Yeah, Nikona Wimbo. Mm. Now Una and then you're running, you're like I, I yeah. and, and so there ha there has been those moments, but mostly I love sitting down and writing it. Uh, step by step. Mm -hmm. You take yeah. your time yeah, yeah. on it. Mm. All right, so when from all your songs, mm -hmm. which one would you say that took you a while to write? And maybe why? What was the reason? What was happening? Um, I'd say the I Do song. Because specifically, the, um, uh, the people that I was working with, now the perfect wedding, they needed something that was perfect. Mm. So the words had to be right. Mm -hmm. So when I went to do, I worked with... Um, a producer, and um, I needed to have the right words. So for me, that took a while because I would say a statement is like, that doesn't fit mm. in this show. Mm -hmm. So we would go again and rewrite and scrap that and then come with a new. We tried different bits until we got the right one. So I think that one took me a while. Mm -hmm. Yes. How do you learn such a deal? Because that's, that's, a, that's a good deal, you know, whereby you're working with, um, a show, mm -hmm. you know, you're the one who's doing like their theme song. How do you land on that? Are you the one who's going to pitch yourself? Do they come for you? How does that look like? For me, I'll say that was a blessing. It's, I'm, it was out of the sack of my friends. And that was one day I felt appreciated because someone just felt you're doing a good work. Mm -hmm. Would you love? to work with us. So for me, that one was out of the circle of sometimes, I, I always believe people are the biggest gift that anyone could receive, especially a singer, mm -hmm. the gift of people. And so among that, God just uh, brought one out of the closest circle of my friend uh, who believed in me because I think it's all goes to someone believing in you. Uh, and so they felt I could write that song. Mm -hmm. So for me, that was a gift. But at the same time, um, we are tunajituma. We are sending ourselves out there mm -hmm. to just. So after that, I kept um, knocking at doors. Hey guys, do you have a show? Would you like a song? And I am looking forward to having more deals. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, could you do a bit of I do for us? Just yes. a cappella. Yes, yes, yes. All yes, right, yes. go ahead. I love a, a singer who's <laughs> ready. I see Anza Kunyambio ni kama ni kona homa. All right, go ahead. Um, hodi, 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 amka kume kucha, leo ni le siku, na tamani kukona. Leo ni leo, oh meta meta meta, tembea kwa maringo, ni kue kepete hii, ni kue kepete hii, leo ni leo. Mm. Your voice is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so um, concerning the voice, did you have to go to um, voice, the voice coaching school? <laughs> <laughs> vocal, vocal, vocal classes. Yes, yeah, yes, vocal. yes, that's the word. Uh, did you have to go for vocal classes? Ama, you just were born with it and you, like how have you developed your, your, your sound? Um, so I've been born in a musical home. Well, from my mother's side, they sing. From my father's side, they sing. So for me, first, it was a gift. But yes, um, I have worked with several vocal trainers. I've worked with the Kasangas mm. uh, for some period of months where we got to learn even the art of songwriting, the art of the notes and the pitches. So yes, it's been a combination, but basically it was within me from Sunday school to mm. high school to campus to where I am. 
how important is it for an artist to keep, you know, honing their skills? You know, you find vocal trainers. I mean, you know how to sing, yes, but mm -hmm. how important is it for someone to just keep honing their skills, not just vocals, but also songwriting mm -hmm. and all that? I think it's because things change. It's because season change. It's because um, times are changing. So if we're not changing, we are still singing the choir way, then it gets too. You get to be outdated. Mm -hmm. Now and you need choir to. Were just <laughs> Boom. <laughs> and I'm not high on my choir, so. Uh -huh. That's how you turn it real bad. Uh -huh. I, I mean, think trends are changing. Yeah. Now you need to know I'm a piano now, or, or else you'll do a song and everyone will be like, where? Hmm. Where, where, where? So I, I think it's very important to just get to learn how the trends are looking like. Mm -hmm. And so um, where we were in 2020 is not where we are right now. So you need to, s to learn something new to just keep up with the trends. It's running. We have to run after it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mr. DJ, yes. um, on matters keeping up with the trend, as a DJ, do you feel like that is what artists should be doing? Because when we come up with Ukicheza, you know, you play for people yeah. and you see the reception. Do you feel like when there is a particular trend, that is what people vibe to? Ama bado Ukicheza tu zenyaziko kwa trend, ziko tu sawa. And how important is it for artists to maybe maintain ama kufuata trends? Kwa DJ na artists ni tofauti. Kwa artists, kwa artists, ule artists ni mwenye mesema, like I will just stick on my lane. But the others, like una pata anasema like let me try to adjust nifanye genre ingine unaona wanaenda na trend kuna wale wanataka kwenda na but kuna wale wanasema i will stick with this one i've seen several artists on akonga hivyo ni ile tu mindset artist ako nayo this is what i want to do ina work best for nani mtu mwenye at least ana follow trends ama wewe ume maintain to this is my sound acha ama piano zikuje ama kina nani zikuje mimi i'm not jumping on to them I can't, I can't judge, yeah. but I can't say, because kila mtu anakonga na reason why ana choose the path. Mm -hmm. it, it can, uh, you can decide to choose your path and it will still work for you. But I choose trend, but still it will work, work for, for you. you. So, it Just works in both ways. Mm. Yeah. Ulkume tutajia DJs ni tofauti. DJs? DJ lazimu fate trend. Because ukenda kwa event, lazimu ucheza zile ngoma za nyuasewa mm -hmm. na ataka kusiki. Yeah. Kusikiza. Yeah. yeah. Muliza swali. <laughs> <laughs> Now, uh, uh, moving on swiftly, like... Uh, do you have any, any upcoming event or any upcoming project that you want to share with us? Mm -hmm. uh, so I have one which is underway. I have a song called Back Bandika. Mm -hmm. Like the steps, like Tuna Song Ambele, but um, I think it will be out in the month of April. Mm -hmm. But this coming Sunday, we have Pasaka Party at Good Shepherd, where we are having amazing ministers coming. So I would welcome everybody for Pasaka Party. Good Shepherd, Gong Road. Hapo ndo tutakua. Tukifufua, yes, we will. Sorry. Kuna mapocho pocho? Yes. Yeah, yeah, maana sana. Yes, 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 yes. Karibu, we just need to say it, yali sema kunayo. Yeah, yeah. All right, um, moving on, maybe who are you looking to work with? Um, in Kenya, I'll say Guardian Angel, because I feel, um, a male voice with a female voice works pretty well. Mm -hmm. And then in the Africa, it would be Nathaniel Basi. Mm. Because I'm a worshiper, part of me loves worship. I would love to tap into that. Mm -hmm. Yes, so for now, I'll trust God for that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, the, on the collaborations that you've, you've done, no. have you done any? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, you've not done any collaborations mm -mm. yet. Is there a reason for that? Uh, no, really. Uh, I haven't met yet them. I haven't met yet, yet. But the moment I do, I'll jump onto that. No, I'm asking, is there Have a reason why you've not done collaborations? Uh, the reason is I haven't found the right person. Okay. Yes, so the moment You're I You're specifically do, looking for Guardian Angel <laughs> and Nathaniel Bass. Anyone else? No, no, no. No, no. no anyone else could come. Yeah. It's, it's just where the goal is. But, you know, we pick along the way before you get there. So I can't just take on, it has to be guardian. Mm -hmm. Any other, I, I would still appreciate. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm still growing, I'm very small. So any, any step that takes me 
any little step that takes me to the greater reward, then it's open for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you were to tell us about how that journey has been for you as an artist, how would you um, describe that journey for you? Uh, uh, I would say it's, it's progressive. Where I'm seeing myself right now is not where I started. And um, it's been bits of it. One thing I learned is you have to walk towards it by faith and trusting in yourself. So for me, it's been progressive. I'm not yet even closer to where I want to be, but I am walking towards it. I won't just stand here because it won't come. Mm. I will run after it. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's been progressive and I'm looking forward to how Lydia Mumo brand, you know, becomes. Mm -hmm. I, I can't wait to see her. Yeah. yeah. I hope you're working on it. Yes, I am. On the brand. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. yes, yes, yes. All right. Um, since your voice is so nice, Kuna mm. ubaya tukisikiza tena akapela? Kumakosa inaweza kuwa ya nani? Hakuna. Hakuna? So, can you, can you do one more song for us? And akapela before, as we get to finish up, um, yeah. Okay. So, uh, the, the song that I wrote last year, it was called Usini Pige. Mm -hmm. uh, so let me sing the first stanza, then we can know how that sounds. All right. Vile um, <clears throat> kwa All right. I'll have to cut you short. Oh. We have a commercial break, okay. but don't you go too far. We'll be back to listen to this amazing voice. And we are on air. I was caught off guard. <laughs> All right, you were singing for us. Um, as we finish off with this interview, you can let people know where they can find you on social media. She sings along to it, as we call it an interview. So tell people where they can find you on social media. Uh, okay, so my name is Lydia Momo, and that is my name on all social media platforms, on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, on TikTok, and that is where you can follow me, you can subscribe to my channels, and you can find me. You inbox me, and I, I am always there to respond. All right. Yes. The song that was just playing in HYJ? Usini Pege. All right. Sing along to it. Okay. Let's go. Okay, okay. okay. Oh, wow. Let's ever rock a quick 
Yesu akiwenga na mlinzi na tukae na undugu amani na uhuru raha tupate na ustawi Mwenza 